Hello everyone, and welcome to a video about the curated and non-curated weapons in Gambit Prime. So with Joker's Wilds, a few things have changed when it comes to acquiring loot. To get the armor, you have to get synthetics from Gambit Prime, turn those into moats, and then deposit them into the Reckoning Bank. Clearing that tier of the activity nets you that tier of armor. Now, synthetics are pretty important since you can use those to buff your current Prime armor, but also because when you get a synthetic, it's usually for doing some sort of feat in Gambit. They are usually rewarded alongside medals and for fulfilling specific roles. The game stresses playing your role as every single one is equally crucial to winning, and the more you do play a role and play it well, the higher chance you have at getting a synthetic, which also means you have a chance at getting a Gambit weapon. Now, Gambit Prime weapons can drop from a bunch of places. The Prime Bounties, the powerful Gambit Prime Milestone, the original quest at the start of the DLC, Engram drops while playing Prime, but more importantly, these weapons can also drop from doing specific actions in the game mode. For example, you can get a chance at the new Sniper for getting an Army of One medal, which requires killing all four players while invading. These actions are part of different roles in Gambit, as the Sniper seems to be linked to more invasion-related actions. This doesn't mean you can only get these weapons from doing these things, though, since there's definitely an element of randomness here but it means you have a better chance if you actually do the things that really help out your team. These weapons drop alongside the synthetics that you'd normally get, and the more synthetics you earn, the more likely you are to come across one of these weapons. Keep in mind that these drops are completely RNG. And with that said, I'm going to give you a list of things that cause these curated weapons to drop. The list is comprised of data collected from Reddit, Twitter, and asking my own community, as well as my own experiences. The Adaptive Frame Sniper Rifle, the Soul Survivor it's called, appears to be tied to actions such as getting an Army of One medal for wiping out the entire enemy team, and also from killing enemies invading you. The curated role comes with Snapshot Sights, Outlaw, Flared Magwell, and Extended Barrel. The Aggressive Frame Shotgun, Last Man Standing, appears to be linked to stopping invaders as well, but also from defeating blockers on your bank and multi-kills. Its curated role comes with full auto, auto loading holster, assault mag, and smooth bore. The adaptive frame SMG bug out bag appears to come from killing high value targets and also banking moats. Its curated role includes multi kill clip, which is a brand new perk in season 6 that says reloading grants increased damage based on the number of rapid kills beforehand. It also has slideways, alloy magazine, and corkscrew rifling. The lightweight scout rifle known as Nightwatch appears to come from killing enemy players while invading, possibly even the Army of One medal as well. Its curated version rolls with Explosive Payload, a new perk called Overflow, where picking up special or heavy ammo reloads the weapon beyond its normal capacity. It also has extended mag and corkscrew rifling. The adaptive frame hand cannon called Spare Rations appears to come from collecting and banking large amounts of moats in a match. The curated roll comes with Explosive Payload, Overflow, Appended Mag, and Hammer Forged Rifling. Probably not the best roll for our new Kinetic Hand Cannon, but the non-curated version can actually roll with Rampage, Kill Clip, Multi-Kill Clip, and even fourth times the charm. The Adaptive Frame Auto Rifle, Gnawing Hunger, appears to come from slaying a bunch of ads very quickly, as I got mine from getting a bunch of multi-kills with my super, and others have said that just killing a ton of dudes caused theirs to drop as well. It has a curated role with Rampage, Overflow, Appended Mag, and Arrowhead Break. On my non-curated role, I got a brand new perk called Demolitionist, where kills with this weapon generate grenade energy, and when you activate your grenade ability, it reloads the weapon from reserves. I think this one's a pretty cool perk. It's nice that it works both ways. You can feed your gun with your grenade, and you can also feed your grenade with your gun. The Adaptive Frame Sword, called Just In Case, appears to come from clearing waves very quickly. It also has a curated role that brings another new perk called Shattering Blade, where if your heavy attack consumes the last of your ammo, it will deal extra damage. This excludes aerial attacks, unfortunately. The role also comes with Assassin's Blade, Burst Guard, and Honed Edge. Now, the weapons I still haven't been able to tie a specific action to are the Grenade Launcher, Sidearm, and Pulse Rifle. Many who have gotten these have done so from the Drifter's Engram, but I imagine these will also come from different feats in Gambit, maybe clearing envoys or taking down multiple big targets quickly, or doing a lot of damage to the Primeval, etc. If you manage to get either of those weapons, please comment below on what they came from, and I'll add that information to the pinned comment so once we get any updates on those remaining weapons, you can check below the video to see the full list. But for now, let's take a look at the remaining curated roles.
The Adaptive Frame Grenade Launcher, Doomsday, has a curated role that comes with a new perk called Full Court that increases the detonation damage as the projectile travels further before exploding. It also has Auto Loading Holster, Proximity Grenades, and Hard Launch. The Precision Frame Sidearm, known as Lonesome, has a curated role that also features a new Season 6 perk called Swashbuckler that reads this weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. It also rolls with Overflow, Extended Mag, and Polygonal Rifling. And finally, the Rapid Fire Frame Pulse Rifle named Outlast has a curated role with Kill Clip, Zen Moment, Tactical Mag, and Hammer Forged Rifling. So, those are all the new Gambit Prime weapons and how to get the curated roles for them. Basically, just play the roles of Prime and aim to get as many medals and synthetics as possible. Different medals and feats lead to synthetics, and synthetics lead to a chance of curated weapons and even god rolls. And I feel like I haven't mentioned it enough, but Gambit Prime bounties are also a great source for these new Prime weapons. Each of these Gambit Prime bounties rewards a synthetic, and if you're struggling against RNG to get one of these drops in a match of Gambit Prime, definitely do as many bounties on all your characters as possible if you're looking for these curated and non-curated roles. I cannot stress enough how important the Gambit Prime bounties are, so definitely pick them up every chance you get. I've heard these weapons can even drop in the Reckoning, not sure if it's possible to get curated roles there, but I've been trying to collect as much info as possible on these drops, so again, make sure to comment below on where and how you got one of these weapons so we can put together a full list for everyone. That's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching.